Commissioner Tommy Smith. Good evening. Also tonight, the Aussie share market bounces back after Oak has claimed the life of legendary horse trainer TJ Smith. He passed away at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney, plunging the racing industry into mourning. The end of an era. Very debilitated by a very large stroke uh, that was not uh, amenable to any form of treatment. Tommy Smith was admitted to hospital yesterday after suffering a massive <laughs> stroke at his Sydney home. He never regained consciousness. Today, before he died, with his family bedside, his larger family waited and hoped. He's a racing icon, I suppose, uh, and racing needs its icons and it needs him to hang around. But early this afternoon, the man affectionately known as TJ let go. He just passed away peacefully. Thank you very much. The tributes have begun, among them a moment's silence at Wyong races. I think he was a magician, a magician of racing. There was no challenge that Tommy couldn't handle. I think really TJ, he was a uh, racing's gentleman and uh, he contributed a lot to racing and uh, he will always be remembered as uh, one of the greatest trainers ever. Tommy Smith was and remains an unforgettable Australian story, a bush boy who rose to immortality. After a short and unsuccessful time as a jockey, he took up training in 1942, his first winner, a rough horse named Bragger. It proved a symbolic start for a man whose list of achievements spreads over furlongs of greatness. But here comes the king. We're watching history made. Kingston Town wins a hat-trick. More than 7,000 winners, including 35 derbies, six golden slippers, seven Cox plates, four Caulfield, and two Melbourne Cups, the last on just a dash 17 years ago. And just a dash is going to win the Melbourne Cup. Just a dash goes on to win decisively. He is survived by wife Valerie and only daughter Gay, who today has a birthday. Tonight, she remembers a special gift, knowing one of racing's finest. James Knight, 10 News. When we continue in a moment, the gloves off in the election race. Oh. Tributes for legendary racehorse trainer Tommy Smith. He died today with his family by his side. TJ, as he was known, never recovered after suffering a massive stroke. As his beloved horses pounded their way around the track this morning, TJ Smith, the man with the mitre's touch, was slipping away. A day short of his 80th birthday, a brain hemorrhage caused a massive stroke. He was on life support systems as he arrived in the hospital, uh, particularly a breathing tube to help him breathe. For hours, the nation's racing fraternity held its breath, but this time the odds were against him. Unfortunately, uh, Tommy Smith has passed away peacefully a few moments ago. Known simply as TJ to the punters, he dominated racing for half a century. His name is legendary as some of the champions he produced, Tullock, Gunsind and Kingston Town. Just a boy from the bush, he started with nothing in the early 40s and like many of his winners, came from nowhere to the head of the pack. He was so far on top of the heap in those days that it was just like an unsurmountable mountain to get over. The record says it all, 7,000 winners including two Melbourne Cups for 33 continuous years, Australia's most successful trainer. He's been a legend in this country and uh, uh, he's got records that uh, records that will never be equalled. The Smith technique pioneered a whole new idea to making champions. The first to consider a holistic approach including diet, exercise, environment and well-being. His ways passed on to daughter Gay Waterhouse. Sadly today was her birthday. Dad doesn't have to say get on you mate you're doing great. He, it was his, what he looked at me and said in his eyes said it all. Throughout his career TJ has had to make some very hard decisions whether to end the life of a champion or hope that his injuries healed. The decision to turn off his life support machine is something Tommy would have understood. I've been lucky enough to have a good eye for horses and that's what you train horses, you only look at them and, and I've been, God gave me something that's like Don Bradman. His death closes a classic chapter in the history of the Australian turf. Darren Curtis, Seven Nightly News. We're all going to get just $15 as... Tommy Smith passed away peacefully in a Sydney hospital after suffering a stroke. Dirt poor as a boy, Smith built a thoroughbred empire that dominated racing since the 1940s. In the sport of kings, he was an emperor. For more than half a century, TJ Smith was invariably at or near the top of Australian thoroughbred racing. 
His death was sudden, oh, just a day a after suffering a stroke at his Sydney home. Unfortunately, uh, Tommy Smith has passed away peacefully a few moments ago. His career and his passion for horses began as a five-year-old. His father couldn't afford to let him go to school. Thomas John Smith had to work the family property near Wagga Wagga. No, I never, never mixed with kids, I mixed with men. He wanted to be a jockey. That failed. But by 1941, his self-taught training style had him on the road to stardom. Don't worry, I'll be a number one trainer in three years, which I was in two years. E.J. Smith was Sydney's leading trainer 34 times, 33 of them in a row. In fact, his 7,000 winners captured every prize available. Can I get around? A record 35 derbies, two Melbourne Cups, is holding his own on the four Caulfield Cups, six Golden Slippers and seven Cox Plates. The horses TJ trained dominated this track so consistently and for so long that years ago the punters began calling it Smith's Highway. He made it tough, the going a bit tough at times, but uh, yeah, I will miss him. He is the Bradman of uh, horse trainers. There was always a horse close to Tommy Smith and he learned their language. He spoke closely to a lot, but best of all, he said, to Tullock. Gunsind and Kingston Town were also close to the dapper little man's heart. Kingston Town was going to run out a very easy winner in the cup. But dearest of all was his family, Valerie, his wife, and their only child, Gay. I think uh, Gay will set lights going when she uh, starts. I think that they made Dad, they both mould, so we won't have to worry about trying to uh, fill the boots. Sadly, T.J. Smith died on his daughter's 46th birthday. He would have turned 80 tomorrow. Peter Harvey, National 9 News. With new figures showing unexpectedly strong economic growth... ...only of how far, then that indelible <laughs> cheeky smile. Racegoers will tell you there were no secrets about Tommy Smith, except perhaps how he made so many horses run fast. He called it a gift, a gift that took him from a penniless failed jockey to the pinnacle of racing. From the day he trained his first winner, a buck jumper called Bragger in March 1942, he shared his success with everyone, Queens of England, punting paupers. He won a record 33 consecutive training premierships before Brian Mayfield Smith nosed him in a photo finish in 1986. He then survived a financial crisis to reclaim the title in 1989. And good times or bad, he was always a story. 35 derbies, seven Cox plates, six golden slippers, four Caulfield cups, two Melbourne Cups. Cup, just a dash goes on to win decisively. While just a dash was the result of typical TJ wizardry, a one-paced battler trained to peak in the right race at the right time, there were also the glamorous stable stars. His favourite was a champion of the 50s and 60s called Tullock. The Smith stables are named after one of Australia's greatest horses. Then in the 70s came Gun Sin, prolific winner at all distances. Like TJ, an unlikely hero, a horse the punters and the poets alike fell in love with. In the 80s, another popular champion, a flashy black gelding, the King. He almost upstaged Tullock in the Smith memoirs. TJ won three Cox plates with Kingston Town, and each time a different rider was carried to immortality. Cook, Quinton and Johnston were just three heroes of turf history who owe so much of their fame to the little man in the pork pie hat. Racing is certainly changing. That's all in sport. Great. The end of an era. Thanks, Peter. To finance, the share market bounced after the enormous rebound. Legendary horse trainer TJ Smith died today after suffering a stroke yesterday morning. Tommy Smith won a record 33 consecutive trainers premierships in a career that spanned more than 50 years. Only a day short of his 80th birthday, Tommy Smith died in a Sydney hospital, his family by his side. He was taken to St Vincent's yesterday after suffering a brain hemorrhage and he never regained consciousness. His son-in-law, Robbie Waterhouse, broke the news this afternoon. He just passed away peacefully. Thank you very much. Doctors at the hospital said the stroke was severe, with little chance of recovery. He was essentially um, very debilitated by a very large stroke uh, that was not uh, amenable to any form of treatment. A character in a world of colourful figures, TJ Smith, who eased off his racing commitments in the last few years, knew how to pick winners. His first uh, success was in getting the, the rogue horse and uh, uh, Brumby called uh, Bragger. 
to the starting line. It, it bolted on the first occasion and threw the jockey. Uh, and he brought it back to, uh, to win four races, and that was the start of his amazing success. Further down the track, he trained champions Tullock and Kingston Town. Ron Quinton was first past the post on Kingston Town in the 1982 Cox Plate and rode countless winners for TJ Smith, many in premiership races. I, I guess the way we, we should remember Tommy is that Chom, Tommy was a champion like Kingston Town and Tullock. There were Melbourne Cups, Caulfield Cups, Golden Slippers and 35 Derby winners, all trained by TJ. Unsuccessful as a jockey, Tommy Smith started training in 1942 and his career blossomed. Within 10 years, he was one of Sydney's leading trainers, going on to win 33 trainers' premierships, a record that's unlikely to be beaten. His daughter, Gay Waterhouse, now runs the Smith Stables, breaking records of her own as a leading female trainer. Julia Lim, ABC News, Sydney. The federal government has... Fulton City.